Oh, I remember him particularly um, in a sulky and a big black dog. And then later on, he had a big, they were retriever dogs, and then he had a, a big uh, tanny brown one. And he used to ride around in the sulky collecting the rents. Oh, really? The, yes. from, from, from the houses that he built? Yes. Mm. Oh. And how would he be dressed? Uh, oh, sort of sports. He wasn't. I'd see him in a suit quite often, or he'd be in good, nice sports clothes, you know, tweeds. And, uh, when I was born, he went, went to see my mother, and he, he put a, a sovereign in my hand, and he said, if it'd been a boy, I'd have given it something worth having. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Well, he was, he was um, obviously very lucky to have seven sons then. He, yeah. that, that was close to his heart. <laughs> <laughs> his idea was he used to buy the land and he'd build a, f a few houses and he, Milson, uh, the Milsons from Milsons Point, he was a wealthy man and he used to take the first mortgages of the houses. My grandfather had the second mortgages. Are there any particular houses that he built that, that, that stand out? No, they're very much alive. No, they're what, what kind of houses were they? Oh, they were suburban houses that, um, like in those days, they fitted well together. And it's, some of them have been altered now, but they, you know, for years they all sort of looked alike. You could tell that was a greenhouse. <laughs> Same as this this house, which was was very badly built, was a, built by about the world's worst builder, oh. Gill. This is a Gill's house. Oh, I see. So, yeah. so what sort of things made made a greenhouse? What, what well, were they distinguishing characteristics? Oh, it was just a house with a with a. They all seemed to have the hallways that ran down the middle of them, and they had uh, bathrooms somewhere at the back, and very often the toilets were, you had to go outside to get to the toilet in some way or other. But mm. some of them were built with the toilets just off the verandas, you know, that sort of thing. Yes. But, and well, it was... They were, um, yeah, mostly the people that owned them were blue collar workers or people like um, clerks or um, um, bankers, but, but they were the lower. Ordinary working ordinary people. Ordinary working people they were. Was there much of a demand for um, houses at that time oh, in, yes. in the Camaray area? Yes, yes. So it seemed to me that every time you, you went, there was one built and another one coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So you, your grandfather had no trouble selling them. No, no, I never heard of that. Yeah. yeah. And you see, later on, my uh, my mother, as she got older, she was she was taught how to collect rents and to do, to, uh, she knew all about it. And uh, she used to go around and she was in the sulky and collect the rents. So I reckon she was a career woman. <laughs>